Hi, welcome to Beyond Bosch. I'm Jessica Dahl. First of all, be sure to subscribe and leave a review if you like this episode. Today, I'm here with Matt Thorington. He's an engineering manager for Bosch covering fuel cell stack and systems. We're here to talk all about hydrogen. So Matt, I've heard of the colors of hydrogen like blue, green, pink, brown maybe. What does that mean? Yeah, no, thanks, Jessica. I mean, it's really about how the hydrogen is produced. So green is coming from really renewable energy and really means zero carbon. So that's what we think is the best and also the future. But there's a lot of other ways that hydrogen is made. And actually, 95% of the hydrogen today is made from uh, from coal or methane. So those are actually your, your black and brown is made from coal and your gray or blue hydrogen is actually made from from methane. So the blue, you can add actually carbon capture. So you can help grab carbon out of the the atmosphere and then get closer to a negative or zero carbon fuel. But we can also make it from nuclear and that's kind of your pink uh, or turquoise colors as well. So it's really just relating how, you know, how the hydrogen is made, where it's coming from. But I think Bosch and some of the industry, we like to actually talk about the carbon intensity. It's a little bit harder to relate to, but, you know, how much carbon is actually used in that production process? Because, you know, we want and we think the future is green, um, green hydrogen or clean hydrogen. And we can actually do that through electrolysis. So hydrogen and, and these topics today is not just about fuel cells and how you use it, but how do you produce it? And this is something Bosch also recently announced that we're entering the electrolysis business. Excellent. So how would you, I mean, first of all, how do you know this much about, about hydrogen? I know we kind of just like shared your title here, but like, who yep. are you? Who is Matt? What do you do at Bosch? Yep. So yeah, I've actually been with Bosch over 17 years. Um, I'm a mechanical engineer by trade from Kettering University. Um, and I've been working in the hydrogen space about the last three years. Before that, different areas, diesel fuel systems, battery electric and hybrid vehicles. So kind of continuing to move towards, you know, the next generation, the next topic of powertrain and really getting to zero emission because that's a passion of mine as well. So I've always been working with, with the team. We have a global team at Bosch, you know, we're headquartered in Germany. A lot of our development's done there. We have a huge market in China, actually, for hydrogen and fuel cells, large team there, and really just passionate about that. We want to you know, make the, the climate cleaner. We want to leave this place better you know, for our next generation as well. Yeah, speaking of, I know, I, I think you have twins at home? I do, yeah. They'll be nine yeah. this summer. Yep. Oh, That's my crazy. God. <laughs> oh, that is crazy. I have a 10 year old, so I totally get it. And an almost seven year old, it goes fast. And I can totally relate to wanting to leave the world better for them, right? Um, yep. How do you explain this concept and fuel cell technology yep. and why it's important to someone like your children? Right. So I think a lot of people know a lot more about battery technology now. We see a lot of battery electric vehicles coming to the market. You know, during the Super Bowl, all the ads were for zero emission battery electric vehicles. That doesn't work for everything. You look at your semi trucks that are delivering all these goods coming out of the ports, uh, railways, a marine, aviation even. It doesn't work. Batteries just are too big, too heavy, too costly. So hydrogen fuel cells can also offer that zero emission uh, technology for transportation. So what, what that really means is we're taking a hydrogen gas, it's stored at high pressure in tanks, and we're combining that with oxygen we get from the ambient. And through an electrochemical process inside of the stack, we convert the, uh, those gases into electricity, and our only byproduct is water. Mm. So really, and this gives us an advantage in how much uh, weight that the truck can carry and how far it can drive, but also the refueling process. So batteries, you know, we know we're charging today overnight, it can take a long time. You're not able to just to stop, grab a cup of coffee and refuel. Well, with hydrogen, you actually can. You can get a very similar refueling process to your gasoline or diesel today. Hmm. Interesting. So why why is this so important for Bosch? Why is this such a passion? Yeah, Bosch is, has made commitments to be CO2 neutral. We actually made that through credits and different things already. We we're one of the first large companies to do that. But Bosch wants to continue to take that. We want to make sure that our customers can can meet the meet their climate goals. And we think that hydrogen fuel cells is the answer, along with battery electric vehicles. It's not one or the other. Um, and we think that can do it. But also, again, how do you produce the hydrogen? And you can use hydrogen in other areas as well. So you think about making steel. 
You can make green steel by using hydrogen, um, ammonia for fertilizer in different industries, again, as aviation fuel. There's so many uses for hydrogen already today, and we continue on to add to that. So really invented for life, but also a clean you know, future for Bosch and for our customers. I love that. Well, thank you so much for sharing with us today. I hope this gave listeners just a little peek into your world and that they want to learn more about it. If you want to know more about hydrogen and fuel cell for mobility, visit Bosch-Mobility-Solutions.com and search hydrogen. I'll also put that in the show notes. Matt, do you have anything you want to leave with our audience? I just want to say thanks to Jessica and thanks to everybody listening. You can definitely reach out to me on LinkedIn. You know, our team is growing as well. So there may be new opportunities if you're looking to get into this space. It's very exciting. It's always been the technology of the next 10 years. Well, I'm telling you, it's coming now. We're coming the next few years and continue to increase that. So very exciting times. Awesome. Thank you so much. And thanks to those of you who are listening. Subscribe, leave a review. We'll see you next time.